Hey everybody, this is Mr. Corliss. I hope you're all doing well. Um, <clears throat> I had promised you at the start of the semester that I would explain to you my brain and then you would um, understand more why I am the way I am. And so, so you don't miss out, I'm going to do this video. So this is a CT scan, so you can see my, my name is actually on there, it's actually me. Um, and these were taken in 1996, so a long time ago, I know. But if you're not familiar with a CT scan, it looks at little slices through your brain, and the dashed lines that you see on this figure are the level of the different slices. Oh, by the way, you can't watch this video unless you have read uh, at least through chapter 13.3 and read about the uh, functional brain regions, because this will make more sense if you've done that. Okay, and once you know what, what those different regions are responsible for, then you'll understand some things about me. So, that's just bone, not very exciting. And as you get deeper, you can see there's a little... There's some black marks there that aren't supposed to be there. That's just a hole in the skull. Um, and as you go deeper again, you can see there's a hole in the skull there. It hasn't fully healed yet. And as you go deeper... Again, you can just see those holes in the skull, one at the front and one on the right side. And now as you get deeper, you start to see some um, blackness up in the, the right frontal cortex, and also there's a big white spot there that's not supposed to be there. And as you keep going down, you see more um, blackness there in that right frontal cortex area. And as you keep going down, you see more blackness, and again, these white things. Um, those white things in the middle of the brain are actually clips. They are titanium clips. Uh, and they were put there to clip off some blood vessels because they were afraid those blood vessels would uh, burst and then I would die. Um, so if you'll recall, you'll notice the area where this damage is in the prefrontal cortex. And you'll recall that's involved with higher intellectual functions like concentration, decision making, planning, personality. Uh, so if you would have met me before I had this first surgery when I was 16, and if you would have met me before that, I was, I was much smarter, I had a great personality, I was much more friendly, uh, I made good decisions, I could plan, I could concentrate, I was really smart. Um, now all those things are messed up because of all this black stuff in my brain. Um, if you keep going down, you'll see more more blackness that's supposed to be there, and the, the two black things in the middle are actually the lateral ventricles. And you can see one more clip in this picture. And as you go down further, now you can see the lateral ventricles better, and still in that right frontal area where the prefrontal cortex would be, um, there's all this black stuff that's not supposed to be there. As you keep going down, you can see more black stuff that's not supposed to be there. And then at this point it's pretty pretty normal. And that's it. So again, I wish you could have met me before I had this surgery. I was a much nicer person. Um, and now you know why I am the way I am. 